worst possible matchup for Denver mm. because not only of the, the experience gap there, but also I love Coach Malone, but this is his first time going through a playoff series. Right. Now it will depend upon the philosophy of Oh, the they ball. lost it right with the steal. That. They combust internally and turn the ball. Harder land fouling. Others say we will live with the percentage and our defense. And game one is in the books. The Spurs hang on to steal it. I thought Jamal's look was a uncontested pull-up jump shot. Shot that he's made a thousand times and he'll make it again. Can the Nuggets have it? Basket count. Pass it out. Gary Harris lets it go. Shoot have gone cold. Nuggets back by nine. Beasley going to try it again. Yes! Got the key bank, key quarter. If there ever was a key quarter, into the lane, coming to Plumlee. Plumlee hurdle there on the offensive glass. Murray, he's got it! Murray turns the corner. Come underneath, lays it in. Oh, they went one downhill. Murray around the corner, steps back to tie. Yes! Murray lets it go. Let's go! Murray. Murray's in the lane. Hang. That's good! Murray. Back it up. There it goes! Oh! Tonight, six points. Murray's on the run. He's smart. He lets it go! Let's go! And Jokic working it now. Gary Harris went down! ...to snap a Spurs seven-game playoff win streak here in Denver. And is on to San Antonio for games three and four. No one is more devastated by a rough start than Jamal Murray, who's already had his share. And no one is more determined to fight their way out of it either. And you go back to the last time the Nuggets won was March 4th of 2012. But allow Derek White to get that ball up. Makes little difference in the final outcome. 118, 108. And San Antonio, a 2-1 edge. Derek White, certainly the star of this one. Coach, what was your impression of uh, Derek tonight? Um, he was obviously spectacular. I'll just leave it at that. They yeah. haven't won in San Antonio since 2012. And you think they're going to go in there now? I don't think so. I, I think this team is really in trouble. Now, I'm anxious to see our guys. How do we respond to that? Where is your pride? You know, where is your toughness? Where is your grit? So game four is going to be really like a, uh, a great insight into who we are as a team, especially our young players. There's Jokic with 21 for Denver. Nice pass from Jokic and Murray with the slam. Oh, my goodness. Torrey Craig gets his first playoff start. He's in the G League last year, and he has that kind of a game. Denver Nuggets had not won here since 2012. It's a long time. Uh, and for it to come tonight in game four, uh, which allows us to take back home court advantage, even makes it that much more special. Uh, so very proud of our guys. What are the best two words in sports? Game seven. That's where we're headed. Jokic, got to go quickly here with one on the shot clock. Oh, oh my goodness. Are you kidding? <laughs> Up and over the backboard. Three for three in game six from behind the arc. Gay went for 19 points. Here's Craig now. And he hits a three. Good pass, sets him up perfectly. I thought Jamal's look was a uncontested pull-up jump shot. Shot that he's made a thousand times and he'll make it again. Jokic gives it back, Murray, shot clock to nine. Here's Murray off one foot. Oh, oh my goodness. For Jamal Murray, what a shot. In the clutch, off one foot. Four point game, DeRozan goes, blocked by Craig. Jokic has it, the end of the game. And the Denver Nuggets for the first time since 2009 advance in the NBA playoffs. We worked, we worked hard for that. You know, we worked hard for this win, and um, we're not going to let anybody take that away from us. He's magnificent. Magnificent. I think the, every part of our team is really, really big for us. I mean, when Paul came here, and then uh, Will Barton is uh, with us all the time. So we always have like little, little pieces together. Monty's playing really good for us. Story Craig, uh, Mason. So I mean, Malik Beasley, phenomenal. So it's not just us three; it's really literally the whole team together. 
Mike, you talked about uh, the challenges of preparing for Portland, obviously a different kind of team than what you just faced. Yeah. How can you even approach something like that in one day? Well, it's, um, you know, w one thing I can maybe allude to would be during the regular season, we had the best record and third best record in NBA history on the second night of back-to-backs. And, and, and that to me shows our, our team is able, able to turn the page refocus and understand who we're playing the next night. So hopefully we can use some of that getting ready for Portland. What did you just prove? Oh uh, man, we, we, not, we didn't prove anything, man. We're not satisfied. We're looking forward to the next round, playing in front of these fans.